Hi, my name is Bobby Chestnut, and uh, never done this before for any audition or on stage or anything all my life. Uh, my fiance passed away night before last, and my Marilyn had cancer for four to five years we were dating, and uh, she made me promise that whenever she passed that I would do this because we really liked the show and watched it for many, many seasons, get a kick out of it, and she goes, you ought to try for that show, and I'm like, nah, and she goes, promise me you'll try. So I'm fulfilling that promise tonight, so here we go. Hi, I'm Bobby Chestnut, and I'm from Indiana. I'm so far back in Indiana and Amish area that my zip code's E-I-E-I-O. And I'm trying out for this uh, America's Got Talent, trying to be a comedian. Uh, if I don't make it to the next round, hey, I understand, because I've handled rejection all my life. I'm, I'm actually adopted. And when I was a kid, I didn't, I didn't know I was adopted, and... All the other kids sometimes would come up to me and they go, Bobby Chestnut, you're adopted. And I'm like, no, I'm not. They go, yeah, you are. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And then we'd have a fight. And then after I recuperated a few times, I, I decided that I'd, I better find out. And I thought, you know, if I ask my dad, he'll tell me if I'm adopted or not. So I went in one, one night when I got all my courage up and I looked him right straight in the eyes. And I said, Ho Chi Minh, am I adopted? And, of course, I found out I was. And, you know, I, I still think I had a fairly normal childhood, although my parents did move around a lot when I was a kid. I always found them, but it was a stretch sometime to do that. And, you know, my dad tried maybe to make it up to me, and we had a lot of fun things we did, like swimming and boating. We had, we had a lot of fun doing that, especially after I learned how to get the uh, concrete blocks and the shackles off my ankles. It was a lot of fun. I mean, your parents probably chased you around with power tools too, didn't they? I, I don't know. But anyway, I, I moved out after that and hadn't got too much contact with my, my family. And then one, one, one day last summer, I thought, you know, I should try to get a reunion together, all my family and everything. And I, I tried, and, and again, that didn't work out too well because it's very, very hard to get all your family together for, re, for reunion when they're all in prisons in different states. So, but on a good note, uh, my girlfriend and I had a baby last year. And we decided, since I was a little older, that we might not want to have any more kids. So she asked me to have a vasectomy, and I really didn't want to. But I thought, okay, so I pleased her and had a vasectomy. And, you know, we had another baby last month. That was sort of odd. And I thought about it. And the only thing I can think that vasectomy did was change the color of the baby. So, yeah, we broke up after that. And we were moving out furniture out of the house. And one, one night she looked at me, and she goes, Bobby, you're getting fat. And I'm like, that's a little bit crude. I'm like, I'm getting fat? She goes, yeah, you're getting fat. I'm like, okay, you know why I'm getting fat? She goes, no, why? I said, because every time I go spend a night with your mother, she feeds me pizza and ice cream. Well, after, after I recuperated from that, I thought that was probably funnier than she did. But, but anyway, and been out dating again and went out on a date with a girl the other night and went and saw the new... Uh, uh, 007 movie, James Bond movie, and it was pretty good, I liked it, a lot of action and everything, and the girl said, uh, well, you know that the next one, they're going to have a, a black man for the for the actor of James Bond, and and I'm like thinking, you know, that, that's okay, but I'm like, it's sort of odd to think about that, it, it's sort of like be if you went and saw a remake of Shaft, and they had the title character as a white man, nah, I, don't, I don't think that would work, but what do I know, but I, you know, I, I do know what would work, and it would solve a world crisis, too. You know who they ought to hire for James Bond? Putin. Russia's leader? I mean, he, I think he sort of wants to be James Bond. He's sort of like looking like James Bond and acting like James Bond. I think he'd be a cool James Bond. And, and that would solve a world crisis because if, if Hollywood hired him to be James Bond, he wouldn't bomb us. That would ruin his movie career. So I'm thinking that's a good idea. But... Uh, that dating, that's pretty tough. I'll tell you, I'm going to leave you with this one last remark. My time's out. Don't ever, ever, ever mess up and think you've got a bottle of Icy Hot instead of anal ease, because that's really not really cool. But anyway, I'll leave you with that. This is Bobby Chestnut. It's all the time I got, so hope to see you in the next round. Thank you.